Okay, so I got a question uh, from somebody asking about uh, the signals that are coming in or out of that injector module right here. All right, this is for the LPG uh, injector. Uh, it's, it's the driver that is connected to your ECM. Um, since I got a truck in here which has that particular system, I decided to do uh, testing on it just to see what signals are coming in or out of that injector module. And this, for this particular testing, I will be using the piercing probes, needle probe, and of course my alligator clip to uh, clip to the negative as a reference. Okay, so, so now we start have to figure out which wire is which for this uh, injector module. So as you can see on the diagram here, that pin number 11 and pin number 12 are open, not connected to anything, right? And so looking at the module itself, we see here two slots right here that are not connected. So that would be 11 and 12. So this would be or uh, 10 and 11. So this one right here, which is at the end, should be number 12. So looking at this, pin is open, all right? So that would be number 12. And is seven, all right? So going back to this, Pin number nine would be LPG injector PWM. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh, piercing probe right, to hook it up to that. So let's loosen this up. Okay, so that would have a pin right there, a needle. That would pierce through that um, wire. Uh, it's, yeah, right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up. Start doing this with one hand. As such, right, right there, and then screw it in. Make sure that that needle piercing that wire and then we're gonna do the same for the other ones and then we're gonna take right now I got my uh, channel a hooked up to LPG uh, injector PWM and then the red trace will be injector CK1 and then uh, the yellow or the green would be an LPG injector a1 and of course the last channel which would be the yellow would be on LPG injector B sharp one. So it's all hooked up there. And of course, reference is gonna be on the negative. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna look at the scope and see what the signal looks like when we're running this. So these are the settings that I have. Uh, it's uh, 500 milliseconds per division, two million samples per uh, second. And of course, I already discussed my uh, connections for the blue, red, green, and the yellow. So let's try to run this. Okay, running and let's start the truck. Key on. Cranking. Get us running. Now we're going to look at this later. Try to rev it up a bit. One more snap. All right. Now we're gonna turn this off, shut down. Okay, I guess that should be good to stop it right there. Okay, and then we're gonna look back on what the signal looks like from each and every uh, channel. So we start here. Let's try to zoom in on a section of this. right here one more okay so that should be good enough um, now we're gonna talk about this I mean, a little bit more in detail and what I think it is because I could not find any information in the service manual or maybe I just didn't I wasn't able to find it on what the signal should be for and if it's coming from the ECM or if it's coming from the module. Okay, so this is the capture that we did earlier. Um, so 
right here is where I started key on and at this point is where I started cranking so notice that I don't have any signals yet I'm thinking this is going to be because the computer is still trying to figure out where it is in space as far as the cam and crank and then this is where it started firing the injectors so this is a slow speed as you see the difference or the amount of time before each injection and then right here will be where it's already starting to idle or it's ready at idle okay so fast forward so this part would be where I revved it up a bit did a snap so let's look at let's try to zoom in on the section here so we can see it in much more detail uh, another one right here okay so one more zoom we can see much better okay so this is how I interpret this like I said uh, I can not find any information in the book as far as what the signal does when it does it or is it coming from the ECM or from the injection module or vice versa but this is how I would interpret this channel A which is the LPG injector pulse with modulation signal I think this would be somewhat like a clock signal coming from the ECM going to the injection module because as you can see here on the red channel right, this is similar to what you would see on the actual signal on the injector so if we compare channel A right here which is the pulse with modulation signal and on B which is the injector CK uh, 1 every time that there is a rising edge on the PWM every time there's a rising edge right here there will be a falling edge on the injector which to me it seems like um, the PWM dictates the amount of uh, pulsing that the injector will get so to me the blue trace will be a pulse with modulated pulse width modulated signal coming from the ECM so that the injector module would know um, how much pulsing is needed by the injector and then let me zoom out a bit then you have the green trace and you also have the yellow trace so on the yellow trace here you will see that it would directly line up the falling edge on the yellow trace right here would directly line up to when the injector started to fire and on the other end on the green trace the rising edge of that green trace is where the pulsing would actually stop so to me what it looks like is LPG injector B1 is actually the um, signal coming from the ECM to start firing the injector right here and then the green trace which is the LPG injector A1 is a signal coming from the ECM to stop the injection so the only thing that's left is going to be the red trace from here to here so I think that uh, the red trace which is injector CK1 is actually the feedback uh, from the injector module to the ECM to tell the ECM that the injector has actually fired so basically integrity of the injector circuit so what I'm gonna try to do next is I'm gonna take a capture on the actual truck and I will take a capture on the injector itself and compare it to this red trace which, which is injector CK1 so um, to prove that my expectation is if I pull the injector connector out the red trace would actually also go away and the computer being that there's no more uh, feedback from the injector module would think or would assume 
that there is an open or a break in the circuit and that's how you could get an error E35. So now we're hooked up to pin number three on the injector module which is the injector CK1 and my channel B is going to be hooked up to my injector here, the main injector. All right, so let me run this. So the blue trace is going to be the injector itself, and then the red trace is going to be the uh, injector CK line on the injector module. So key on. Okay, what up? I don't think my uh, connector's connected. That did. Okay, that's it. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay, let's press that. Okay, then we're gonna pause this, stop this, and let's look at it. Zoom in a bit on this part. So it directly mirrors, no, not directly, but it mirrors the action of the injector uh, on that injector CK line, except for the fact that this doesn't reach all the way to negative. But of course, on the injector side, you have to reach negative. But as far as the pulsing is concerned, it directly mirrors it. So I think that's confirmation that the red injector CK is going to be a signal coming from the injector module to the ECM to confirm that the injector is actually firing or um, it's not open or shorted. So to prove that, what I'm going to try to do, all right, moving back here, what I'm going to try to do is while it's running, I'm going to disconnect this while we're running the scope and then we're, we're going to see um, if the red trace, which is the injector CK, is going to disappear along okay. with the injector. So right now we're going to run it again. And while it's running, what I'm going to try to do is um, pull the injector connector out for the main injector and see if the signal is also going to go away. All right, so let me run the scope. I'm going to crank it. Okay, it's running. Try to pull the injector out. Okay, both of them went away, and of course the engine died. And the expectation is I'm gonna have a code E35. Okay, some glare on there. Yeah, so it's a code E35. Okay, so I guess it kind of confirms for me that the um, injector CK line is from the injector module going to the ECM, right? So the ECM now, without that injector CK line being fed to it, is gonna assume that the injector didn't fire or it's broken or it's an open or a short basing on the code E35.